In today's video, we're going to be searching for these big bass on some big worms. Let's get it. That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. It's, that's how I want you to eat it. Oh, I got him. That's a good one, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Oh. Oh. Not a bad one, dude. Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content today, we're out here at this beautiful little pond. It's pretty cool because we're going to be filming some bank fishing content like the next few days. And then like on Wednesday of this week and Thursday, we're going to be practicing for a tournament. So we'll be on the boat and then we'll film a tournament video. So we have a lot of good content dropping this week. So if you guys aren't too big into the bank fishing content, just know that we have some river and boat content and tournament content coming this week. We're actually out at this beautiful pond. This is somewhere we haven't been to. Old Cody's got the hookup on this place and we got to come out here and uh, try it out for the first time. I'm actually gonna be using some big worms today for some big bass, that's the big plan. The last time we filmed a big worm video was on the river. And uh, today we're going to be taking some big worms to the ponds and trying to catch some big ones. So we're going to go ahead and get started, get rigged up, start casting out here and see if we can catch a really big one today. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I really appreciate the support recently. Um, we got some banging content coming soon for y'all. So let's go ahead and get it started. We talked about fishing big worms today. I stopped by Dick's Sporting Goods this morning. Got a little bit of tackle, so I'm going to show you guys. All right, let's see what we got. I got some hooks we actually got some five aughts when i'm using like big worms especially 10 to 12 inches i like to use five uh, extra wide gap hooks we got some bullet weights right here these are like the only ones i can find which i'm not the biggest fan of them but recently these are the only ones that i've been able to run into also got some four out hooks right here but we can use that for something else and then the worms that i got for today's video we have some a natural color green pumpkin magic it's just a regular green pumpkin color and it's got a lot of gold glitter in it bunch of uh, black glitter as well it's a good little natural color just a standard green pumpkin and then we got right here is a plum color and uh i've caught a lot of big fish on a plum big plum worm so uh that's the two colors i ended up buying we're gonna go give it a shot today by the way if you guys want to check out any of uh like the rods i use in the videos also a lot of the striking baits that i use i have the link down below with the discount code you guys can go check that out i really appreciate it but that's the baits that we got. We also have some extra special stuff in here, but I don't know if I want to show you guys yet. You're going to have to see some of the upcoming videos to see what's in this bag. Because we have some juicy stuff, some really cool baits. Stay tuned for that. Turn on the post notifications. Hit the like button. This content's coming soon. All right. I'm going to be throwing our kicking combo today. Cody, what is that? What is it? It's your little rage pincher. Uh -huh. You want a bite? <laughs> a little pincher. Want a little bite? You know, every now and then you lose a pincher. You can... That is the worst feeling in the world, dude. Did you see that? Yeah. Just out of every single island. But yeah, we're gonna be running the new kick in the bass combo. Um, I know I haven't told you guys much about the release date on this. I'm gonna be having some updates coming very soon. I'm working on something in the background that I'm gonna be able to get these out to you guys sooner than later. So just stay tuned for that. Follow me on IG, by the way. Um, kick in the bass TV. I have a lot of updates that I post on there between the posts and the stories. So that's like another place. I'm gonna be honest, if you guys want to know about the combos, you need to follow me on IG. IG is probably gonna be the first place I end up posting all this. I'll end up posting it in a YouTube video the same day, but IG is just a little easier, a little faster to figure out everything. But we're gonna go ahead and rig this up. It's loading up on my rod. This is 17 pound fluorocarbon, and I actually just put on some new fluoro before I came out here today. We end up bass fishing, like we bass fish so much, that you really gotta change your line a good bit. And like we'll go out on maybe three or four fishing trips between like the river or bank fishing or jumbo fishing. Next thing you know, all our line's bad. So I'll change it out a good bit. I'm going to get one bullet weight. Get us one of these five aught extra wide gap hooks. Tie this bad boy on with a uni knot. on down put the tag in so we have two different colors you know we have the green pumpkin a little natural and then we have the plum I think I'm gonna start off with the plum it's a pretty color 
had a lot of luck with it. So if you guys are wondering how we rigged this up, just like any other standard Texas rig bait, you know, if you're throwing a crawler or a worm or anything, get the head, head of the hook, go right into the bait. We're gonna break it through, slide it all the way up onto the front of the hook and we rotate the bait around. Notice this, rotate the bait around, slide it all the way up on the hook. You guys want to know an accurate way of penetrating the hook in the bait so this worm is sit flush you line the worm up with that hook right there and this back side of the hook is where you're gonna put the point all right so the back side of the hook lines up right here on the worm that's where we're gonna penetrate it bury that point and there we go it's perfectly flush just to show it with the weight that's the rig that we're using today I don't talk about it much, but like in the summer guys, when it's super hot, a big worm gets bit. I mean, it's just one of my favorite baits to throw in the summer, especially for some really big bass. You'll catch some small ones on it too, but a big worm can catch a big fish. So we're out at this place. I've never been here before. And usually what I do when I come out to a new pond, I like to kind of just look at it, right? I look at it, I'm like, you know what, what is there? You know, what I can tell is down this bank, got a lot of vegetation. Got like these little reeds down this bank. It's a good spot for bass to sit up on, right? One thing I do notice too, is there's a bunch of wind pushing on this bank. So I can almost predict that there's gonna be bass set up on this side. Another thing that I pay attention to is I make a lot of casts out there and figure out where these deep parts are. It's really shallow up here on the bank, but there has to be some deeper spots out here so i'm gonna throw around count down my bait see where there's some deeper holes and usually in the summertime that's where those big bass are gonna set so um the main thing that i'm gonna do right now is walk down this bank make a lot of casts and just try to figure out what these fish are doing try to figure out where they're positioned and uh then we can really hone in and start catching them really good it's actually really shallow in this pocket I got one, not a big one, but the first fish today, baby. Oh, old big worm. It's so funny how these little guys bite this thing. This fish is no bigger than that worm. Yeah, mine's bigger. What is that? There's no way that's a bluegill. Dude. Oh my God, dude. What? That is probably the, one of the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. No, that's just dumb, dude. Oh my God, it's bigger than the bass. Look at this. I was on a worm. <laughs> that was on a crawfish. Look at that, dude. It's not even right. <laughs> dude that's crazy well we got our first fish yep little bass yeah. little bluegill here goes a bass where did he go oh <laughs> nice well nothing big but we got a fish and cody got himself like a big bluegill that was funny i don't know we're gonna go down this bank and i'm just trying to see if we can find some deeper water it's like really shallow up on the bank there's not like really any cover anywhere either I mean, you got some vegetation up on the bank, but like I said, it's so shallow. I don't know. It's like to find some deeper water. Oh, gosh. Dude, he ate it right away. I watched him. He did. Oh, no, he came off. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, Cody, throw right there. He took my worm. There's so many, bro. There's like five. Just throw right there where I lost him. There was like a two-pounder that ate it, and it just came off. Dude, there's so many fish. You come off? Yeah, he came off, but he ate it as soon as it hit the Dude, there's so many fish right here, dude. Oh, that's why I was walking. Take your hook and everything? No, you didn't take my hook. There he is. You got him? All right, I'm gonna double up with you. Maybe I might be caught in your line. Yeah, I got one. Dude, there's so many of them right here, bro. That's a decent one. I ate that worm good. Oh, he came off. Oh, dude, we're on him. Right there, though. Where's we're your captive? Yeah, there's so many, dude. You just throw in there and they eat it. Nice. 
There's so many fish. I had some bigger ones follow me out, dude. The one that took my worm. Yeah, I got another one. Oh. Dude, it's like I had them on, Cody, and I pulled the worm away from them, and there was like a school of them fighting over it. They're oh, they're loaded, dude. I don't know where he went, but he's in the shade somewhere. He got me. Oh! It's just this big worm so big, you gotta kind of let him eat it. Dude, that is, that is insane. He took my worm, or my worm fell off. This fish is so aggressive. Well, these are not the size we're looking for, guys, but we're starting somewhere. We're starting somewhere. Thank you, Bubba. Dude, they're all over the edge of those flats. That's literally where they're at. Little one's right in front of us. That's a fish stick if I've ever seen that one. That's literally a fish stick. You just put that in the oven with some breading and that's a fish stick. Dude, I just had a fish stick on. Oh, he's chasing me. Look at this fish stick. Oh, oh. Oh, I see it. That worm's just so big. <laughs> it's bigger than the bass, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's a decent one, I think. It's a better one. They are munching this worm, I will say that. They're not much, there's nothing to them, but they are munching this worm. He's got a big mouth on them, don't he? Yeah, he does. Big mouth for that big worm. They're not much, but you know what I always say, guys, you gotta start somewhere, and we're gonna keep walking around this. If we're gonna keep catching some small ones, we're gonna go to another spot, but we're gonna give it a good solid try. There's a lot of fish out here. Like I see one swimming right here, but he's so small. That's a bluegill. Yeah, yeah we might as well know. have some fun with these small ones while we're here. Might as well. He's got me. Hey, that's a better one. Yeah. This is a deep bank. Not a bad one. Still not big, but better than those little twink Twinkies. Yeah, down that fall, I, this bank's a little bit deeper. I can tell right, even right up on the bank, it's not flat at all. We gave it a shot. Yeah. Now we're lost, dude. All right, guys, we just got out to a new pond. There's some big ones in here, so we're gonna chuck around this big worm. I'm actually gonna try on this one. Um, this is the green pumpkin one that I have. We're gonna rig this bad girl up. I think we're gonna have an opportunity to catch a really big one, so I'm pumped about it. We're just gonna have to make a lot of casts. There's a few ponds here that we can fish, and uh, I just really wanna hook like a good eight pounder on this worm, and I think it's possible. So let's go cover some water and see if we can get it done. Big one, dude. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, monster Cody. God dang it. That's like a six, seven pounder, dude. What happened? Dude, man. Oh my gosh. I just, I couldn't move him, dude. It was such a big fish. Oh man. Like I threw it out there and I just kind of like felt him just kind of grab it, right? I could tell that he ate the rest and he was just walking with it. And I hooked that and I felt how big he was, dude. That was. <laughs> Did you see him? I saw the very tail. Dude, line. he was every bit of six, seven pounds. Gosh, there's more though. There's more to be caught. That's just aggravating, man. First bite since we've been here. It's been a second, but you know, we're going to get the bites. It might take us a second, but usually if you get a bite, you know, it can be a good one. That was a freaking monster. It's all good, dude. We'll get another bite. I felt like a dang fish. Yeah, he's got it. Dude, just sucked me right off, bro. Biggin? That's a good one, dude. Nice fish. Hey. 
Not bad. Grab your worm. There's a lot right here. Keep having them by me. I just haven't had another. That's a big one. Oh, he's not that big. Couldn't move him though. Finally got one to eat that worm, right? Nice little fish. It's all a pound and a half for fat, healthy. Look at that. It's better than those ones we were catching in that first pond. Just got to start somewhere. Lost a freaking mega, but got to get one on the bank. Thank you, baby. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, there he is. That's how I want you to eat it. Not a bad one. Not a big one. Not a bad one. Thank you, bud. Look how you ate that worm. I'm looking for your mama, your grandmama. All right, buddy. Yep. Oh my gosh, that was a freaking monster, dude. Oh my God, that fish was so heavy, dude. Pull my worm right off, man. He hit that thing so good. Pretty sure I stuck him too. I mean, I fell all the way to that fish. That was a freaking good one. I don't know if he was three pounds or five pounds, but that was a hefty fish. We're gonna get another one of these worms on. We'll throw it back in there. There might be more. So you got this pipe right here and it's pushing out a lot of current. You know, these fish right here replenish and stack up on this real good. I threw really close to the right hand side, which there's a little bit of rock. It's like big concrete blocks right there. Let's even get another cast. Yeah, right there. That's where you bit it. Gosh, that was a good little bite too. Ooh. Got a little nibble. Ooh, I got him. That's a good one, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. No, is he? He's fighting in that current. It might be that current. Oh, that's a good one. Not a five pounder, but that's a dang good one. Look at that, guys. Look at that bass. Oh, that's fun right there. That's the biggest one that we're about to land right here so far. He's such a fighter. I don't know if he's just because he's in that current. Dude, that's a good one. That is a hefty little two pounder right there. Look at that. Nice, dude, that's a good fish. Gotta love catching these fish, man. Especially some good ones like this. And this thing fought like a dang five pounder. You gotta love that. Look how ch thick and chunky he is. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. There he goes. Get him. Yeah, he's running with it. Oh gosh, Katie. He's not that big. Really? That seems like a pretty big one. It's like a three pounder. Dang, that's a good one, dude. Look at that one. That's a good fish. I'll take it. It's not that good. Didn't it's pretty good one. Go. That's a pretty good one, dude. Yeah. Isn't that current? Yeah. Just grip him hard. Grab him. There you go. You got him perfect on top of the mouse, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had a few bites, Cody. I had one dude that I thought was really big and he just came off. He's like, t like two, two number. That like two number. But uh, the cast before, I had a good one. That's like a three pounder. Oh, I got one too. Get nice. Oh, they're good fish. That's a good bass. We got a little double up going. Katie's got her like a three pounder. I got me a solid two number. Slammed it pretty good. Right there in that current crazy because cody just came over here and fished this you're fishing it yeah, and, and you caught a few in it that current man let's see if you can get one fish bump it nice here we go so oh, nice some good little fish yeah how big like four. nice <laughs> that's a good one that one guys <laughs> dude that's, that's a daddy. freaking toad yep destroying that big worm 
What color is that worm? Though? That's a, it's like a green pumpkin magic. It's got like a little bit of black and like gold flake. Yeah, I think they like it, dude. You think they like <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, I think they like it. That's a big one. <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice, dude. Oh. Dude, I got a one under his stomach. Oh my God, there's a fish with him even bigger. Wait, I didn't hook him under his stomach. What in the world? It's a nice bass. Not a giant one, but it's a nice bass. All right, buddy. Let me get you off. I think there was one with him, like a big one. Pretty little fish, though. Right, we had a good time, guys. We threw a bunch of these big worms around, caught some good little fish. You know, that first place had a bunch of small ones, but we came out here and kind of upgraded. Wish I would have got that big one on my first bite out here. But, guys, I enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Kicking the Best.